Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. In this particular video, we're going to talk about storing feed. Not the type of feed that you use, that'd be too long for a video. We're going to talk about the proper way to store your feed, how to prevent mice, rats, raccoons, possums, dogs, even your horses, chickens, whatever, from getting into your feed and making sure that your horses have good, wholesome feed, whatever type of bagged product it is. Okay, we're going to go into this grain room. And the first thing I want to talk about in this grain room to you is the floor. We have a concrete floor. It's dusty because we're in a barn, but notice there's no feed per se on the floor. If you have feed on the floor, the worst thing that's going to happen is, is that's going to attract your mice, your rats, your raccoons, your possums, and all kinds of animals, even birds, to bother and infect your feed area. One of the best ways there is to store 50 pound bags of feed is, is an old chest freezer. When this freezer stops working, you get them for free. Nobody knows what to do with them. They hold, this right now has eight bags of feed in it. Eight 50 pound bags of feed. You can have different varieties. They stand up nice. You can keep your scoop in here. The feed will stay nice and fresh. You don't have to lock it. It's safe. It closes. It's almost airtight. It's a great way to store feed. Another way that people store feed is garbage cans. Whether they're plastic or metal, doesn't matter. You just want to make sure that the lid stays sealed shut. And this is a great way to keep your feed safe. Also, if you use garbage can lids, it's not our garbage cans, smaller containers is a great way to separate different feeds for different horses. And you can put labels, paper, pen, some kind of tape, glue it. You can mark which horse gets what. You can actually do that with the same on a freezer. You can just mark the door on the sides and that goes to the type of feed it is. You have to understand that most of the feed that you're going to be buying in feed stores, folks, is pretty fresh. Feed stores just don't have the money to buy a whole bunch of food at once in 50-pound bags, so they buy what they maybe have for a week or two. Uh, the grain mills, the feed companies, they're cranking it out as fast as your horses are eating it. So you can usually count on having pretty wholesome feed. Once you open up a bag of feed, you really want to feed it within one to two weeks of opening that bag. The more safer that bag is, the more uh, protected it is, the, the more likely you're going to get a little shelf life. Think of it this way. If you open up a package of food, and you put it in your refrigerator in your home, chances are it's going to last a little longer than if you open it up and you just set it on a countertop. It's exactly the same when it comes to your horse's feed. The way you store it, the way you protect it, goes a long ways in preventing your food from going bad. And the last thing I want to tell you about this, how many times have you heard of a horse colicking, a horse foundering, because it did what? Yeah, it got into the feed. If you don't have a door that locks, these right here are ways to keep your horses out of this food instead of just having a bag of feed laying out somewhere. Well, hopefully this will help you. Thanks for watching. And take care of yourself.